Hi everyone and welcome back to a new vlog. So I am on my way to Thorpe Park. It's very early, it is currently about 8.30 in the morning and I'm sorry if it's a little bit loud, it's a bit windy today and also I'm next to the road because I'm actually walking uh, this bit to Thorpe Park. And the reason that we're going today is because we're Merlin Annual Pass Calabrias, we were invited to go along and try out the uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth which is uh, incredible. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm also a bit apprehensive because as you'll know, I'm alone. <laughs> Helena is actually working today, so I don't have my partner in crime with me. I don't have the person who stands by me and says, everything's gonna be okay when we're trying out a new experience or a new uh, coaster. Um, so yeah, we're going along. We're gonna try out uh, the Black Mirror Labyrinth. We're going in between half nine and 10, but we've also been told that we can film some snippets from inside the new experience. So it's a, a live experience and I'll just pull up the description to let you know exactly what it is. So here we go, here's the description. So a live Black Mirror experience, enter the unnerving near future and be absorbed by the UK's first Black Mirror experience at Thorpe Park Resort. This twisted sensory defying maze puts you at the core of the Black Mirror universe and it wants to keep you there. Escape Black Mirror Labyrinth or lose your mind trying. Oh boy. This is gonna take a lot of gusto from me. <laughs> but we're gonna do it, because because uh, I wanna show you. And it's also good, because I'm not totally on my own. I've got you with me. So let's head along to Thorpe Park. And then once we've done that, I do have work today, so I can't spend all day in the park, but we're welcome to stay in the park once we've finished going through the experience. Um, might see if we can jump on a few rides before we go, or have a wander around, go in some of the shops, see what they've got in terms of merch. And yeah, just have a, have a good morning and early afternoon. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me because it is so windy, but this is so weird. Hardly anybody here. So very exciting. We are now being led over the bridge into Thorpe Park and we're heading towards Black Mirror. It's very windy today. Oh, the nerves are building up inside. I mean, this is, this is taking everything I have to do this on my own. But I'm just trying to think, you know, this is an amazing new experience and I'm excited to share it. So here is the park at, it is 20 past nine. We're being led around. So there were actually videos up yesterday regarding Black Mirror, but I have avoided everything just because I want it to be a totally new thing. And yeah, so I have, I have nothing in my head. I have no idea what to expect. I've seen a couple of pictures, but that's it. That is it. <laughs> so this is the group that I am with some familiar faces and it's so weird with it being so quiet. I can't believe the last time we were here was uh, for Fright Night. <laughs> We've got a vlog of that on the channel if you want to check it out. I was being overly cheery in all the uh, <laughs> scare areas. <laughs> and so here we are, we're being led round to it. This is where the construction was the last time I was here during uh, Fright Night. But now it is open for business. So outside you've got Black Mirror Labyrinth, you've got free timed tickets, so scan the QR code uh, to book a free timed ticket. So I just scanned that and then it's got the free time ticket and then how many you want. So if I press next and then you can select the date and then select the time that you want. Press next. And then you've got it there. So that's free. And then put your info in. There's this cool photo opportunity as well outside. So we've just got some people coming out. They've got lanyards, they've got white outfits on and masks. It looks like they're gonna ask us some questions. Oh no. Helena, wish you were here. Oh no. <laughs> so somebody did go through yesterday in the group and they said that it is a, it is a proper maze. So I don't think I have that much chance on my own. <laughs> I could be in here a while. 
So I was just reading about the timed tickets. So due to capacity restrictions, you must book a free time ticket to enter the attraction. Uh, and this allows you to enjoy other attractions and then return to Black Mirror Labyrinth at the time specified on the ticket. Also, uh, it's not included on the unlimited fast track and Thorpe Shark Cabins guests get an exclusive access to the labyrinth between 10 and 11.30 on the second day of your stay and you just have to show your hotel wristband and for that if you're staying in the Shark Cabins you won't need to get a free time ticket Oh so they just came over, the people in the white suits and they were asking how I was and then I answered but he didn't say anything, just smiled at me and then he got something through on his implant but he didn't tell me what it was I said, is it something I should be wary about? He said, we value your privacy and then walked off. Oh no, something makes me think that they don't. They don't value my privacy. This is it, we've been told to join the line to go in. And so it is happening. We're going for it. How long will it take? <laughs> Wowzers. Oh no. It knows everything about me! And stand on congestion points. These are marked by circles on the floor. Give me my out! Go! Hurry! Get out! What? Get out! <laughs> Not that way! Hurry! Get out! Get out! Oh. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was, that was really cool. I'll explain more in a second. <laughs> so I've just sat down for a second. Um, I think it is about to rain, so I'm not sure what I'll be able to get on next, but um, wow. That was such an immersive experience. The storyline in itself, which it, you'll probably be accustomed to if you've like watched Black Mirror, is so built in reality and like things that could happen it was a bit like unnerving even before you went in because it was a bit of a pre-show um and it, yeah when you go in i mean you're just totally it's just <laughs> it attacks all of your different senses um like there's times where you just can't see literally anything that's in front of you um they position a lot of stuff so that you can you can get lost very easily you think you've made it to the next point but actually it's a mirror um it's just, yeah, it is such a, a good and unique experience and something very different to the park because uh, you've got your amazing roller coasters and now you've got, you've got something that's just completely different. Um, I mean, there's lots of flashing lights inside, that's just something to, uh, to note. Uh, but I had such a good time with there and then yeah, I just imagine what it would have been like if Helmer hadn't been with me and we would have been both like trying to go different ways. Uh, so I can imagine it being like really even more enjoyable if there's a, a couple of you in your party and you're going around trying to decide which way to go um, and also because you can't quite hear what somebody else is saying because there's noises happening all the time as well it's just it's just a bit of everything um, yeah it's a maze but it's also a good story so yeah I had a really good time and I can't thank Annual Pass enough for inviting me along to, uh, to, to go through the Black Mirror Labyrinth, a new experience here at Thorpe Park. Oh, what an amazing uh, morning it has been. So, what shall we do next? I do want to go in some of the shops and see if there's any uh, merch to do with Black Mirror. If there's any pins, I might get a pin just to signify that I was here for like the, you know, the opening of it. I did it though, I breathed it. I got through it on my own. <laughs> Just outside of the mega saw. It is still very windy, so I think we're gonna go inside. So they've moved things around since the last time we was in here. So you've got the mugs over this side. There's still some Oktoberfest ones left. These are just so hefty. <laughs> I don't know if you could drink all of that. And then they've got Thor Park Monopoly. Seems like there's um, different types of Monopoly in each of the parks. So that's cool. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the Friends reunion. They've released that trailer. They've got a uh, Friends mug here in the shop. So I'm just over here at the pins. I can't see a Black Mirror pin yet. So I'm sure that'll come in time. 
So just been walking past a few of the rides. A uh, few of them are, yeah, subject to weather delay at the moment, which is understandable because it is very blustery. Not sure how long I'm going to be here this afternoon, uh, just because I do need to get back before work, get some stuff sorted. But it's been a great uh, morning. I might go around and see if I can get some ride footage if anything's uh, operational. I'm looking forward to getting back uh, with Helena. I always find roller coasters and things a lot more fun when Helena's with me. I'm just around by stealth now. As you know, I struggle going on roller coasters on my own, especially if they're quite intense. Now this is the one that I've not been on with Helena, so I can't chance it just going on on my own. I'm not sure if I'm going to go on many things because of the weather, um, but what I am going to love doing is I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and get some ride footage, because I never usually have the time, because we're normally dashing about <laughs> from ride to ride. I'm going to uh, try and get some footage of each of the rides around Thorpe Park. <laughs> Should I go on the rapids? I'm just about to come round to it <laughs> and uh, I went on the rapids the other day when I was at Legoland. Might do it. So I just did the rapids and it was okay, didn't get too wet. Luckily I was sat on the side where the water wasn't coming over. Uh, and then I'm just here next to a nemesis. So I'm gonna catch that as it goes around. people inside the Amity uh, heat wave <laughs> shed things trying to warm up after going on tidal wave. <laughs> I've never really looked at what is submerged in the water. So here you've got some sort of uh, factory then this looks like it's a church or a, a town hall. And then over here, it looks like a, it looks like it should have been a petrol station. And then you've got an abandoned boat. And then we've got a truck over here. And then we've got the water tower. <laughs> you won't get wet here, honest. Well, let's test it. Yeah, correct. You don't get wet there, but if you stand there, you're going to be soaked. Oh no, it started raining, but I just wanted to point out around the park there's these lockers. Uh, each time a locker is opened, a one pound coin is required. But if you didn't want to carry everything around with you, you can use the lockers. I could just stand next to Tidal Wave for ages, because I love the music choice that they play. But I'm going around here to Swarm. Oh, this Swarm. I always forget the the. Uh, and we'll catch some footage of that as well. So they just did an announcement due to the adverse weather. There's something called the Island Park return uh, policy. So if you've booked your tickets for today and you're not able to get on the things because of the weather, then you can actually uh, book to come back for free later in the year. You just go and visit the website. So I've seen the plane broken up before, but I did not realize the amount of detail that is dotted around, like all the bits of the plane that are strewn across the grass. 
I literally thought it was just these bits, like the big bits that you would notice. But then you got the wheels down here as well. I love having a bit more time so I can just explore and pick up on some things I haven't seen before. I've been on the swarm only once before and that was uh, Halloween and I loved it fantastic uh, it is so smooth I mean the scariest bit is just that beginning bit where you're upside down because it goes quite slow so you're upside down for what seems like a little while but uh, once it gets going it is so smooth and enjoyable so it's probably the best it's the best coaster I will say here at Port Park. <laughs> You miss as well what's actually on this board. <laughs> so take a flight into paradise, an experience you will never forget. Sure is. And then on this side, don't lose your head, eliminates headaches fast. If you don't have the app and you can't see the queue times and you don't want to walk all the way around to Swarm, they've actually got a signpost here that tells you what the wait time is. And it's, uh, it's here next to uh, Flying Fish. I am really regretting just wearing a hoodie. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, this donut factory there. I think Helner would be a bit annoyed if I got some donuts without her. The Walking Dead, which has been closed for quite some time, that's back open as well. Uh, never been on that. Can you let us know in the comments what, what it is? Is it a roller coaster? Or is it a, a walkthrough experience? I mean, it says the ride, so I'm guessing it's a coaster. Seeing the shark inside the building reminds me of the movie Shark Mado. Has anybody seen those? So bad, they're good. <laughs> so I think we'll head back around to where Black Mirror is and then to where Saw is. Uh, check out some of the rides that are around there. If you've watched the channel before, you'll know that I don't do very well with like pirate ship rides. And so Helena keeps telling me when I come here, I should try out the banana ride because it's uh, a very smaller version. It might get me used to it. So I've just come through uh, like the children's section, which actually during Halloween was the Creek Freaks Unchained. I think that's what it was called. But over here at the back, I was just looking for somewhere to sit for a little while. I saw this. Uh, and this is Diana, Princess of Wales. This is dedicated in fond memory by the Thorpe Park team. And this is just at the back of it. And this is something that I have never seen. Uh, I just saw the plaque and I thought I'll come over and see what this is. Yeah. Dedicated to Princess Diana. Very different experience being in this part of the park and not being chased around by somebody with a chainsaw. <laughs> Much more relaxing. But that was good fun though. So I've actually had to sit down because I'm working from this afternoon, pretty much from when I get back. I'm not going to have enough time to edit this vlog if you want to get it up for tomorrow. So I've actually sat down. I've brought my laptop with me. The bag's been quite heavy. Uh, and I'm going to edit a bit of the vlog now. So unfortunately the British weather, oh, as you can probably hear, doesn't want people to enjoy the day at the theme park. So, Saw is closed at the moment, and then so is Colossus. But they have, like I said, they've got that return. Just a shame for the people that have come today. But there's not much you can do about the weather. Don't know if it's coming through, but my hands are red raw. <laughs> Need my hard hands, my hard hands, baby. So I've been bested by time and by the weather. Uh, I want to try and get back now so I have a little bit of time before I start work. But yeah, that was really fun. And again, thank you so much to uh, Merlin Annual Pass for allowing us along. Uh, it was incredible to be able to pop along and, and get on it before it opened up officially. Or go through it, I should say. But yeah, I'm going to head home and then I'll probably update you when I get back. So I'm back at the flat. I've been back ages. I'm actually just taking a short break from work. But thank you so much for coming along with me to Thorpe Park. Another massive thank you to Thorpe Park and to the Merlin Annual Pass for inviting us along to try out Black Mirror Labyrinth. And uh, we have to get back soon because Helner hasn't experienced it yet. 
so we have to tackle the challenge together. If you've liked this video, then make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe. Uh, we will have more adventures coming up. Uh, that's all from us for now. We will see you next time. Toodle Pipski!